My name's Kelsey, I'm Coffee Quality and Development Manager here at Wolf Coffee Roasters and today I'm going to be having a mini chat about how we developed one of our house blends, the Big Dog. So the Big Dog's brief was that it had to be something approachable, something that poured consistently and something that stood up really well in milk. Uh, so the first thing we did, as Peter would have been telling you in the last vlog, was begin with the end in mind. Um, so he articulated our end very clearly by walking into Coles and purchasing the Monty biscuit from Arnott's. Delicious. So we basically needed to come up with a blend that tasted exactly like the Monty biscuit. The first thing is articulating what flavours those are. Good? <laughs> we did a lot of research. Um, so it's dark chocolate and it's malt biscuity sweetness. So the first thing we had to do after that was think about where we we're going to find these kind of flavours. So we cupped a whole lot of coffees from uh, three different origins, Brazil, Guatemala and Mexico. And when we were cupping them, we were, we were looking for coffees which showed these particular flavours, these dark chocolate, these malts. So once we'd selected the individual farms we wanted coffee from, uh, a naturally processed coffee from Brazil Cachoeira, a fully washed from Guatemala Finca Martin, and a fully washed from Mexico Finca Cassandra. Uh, we got these in-house and once they'd landed, Willie, our head roaster, uh, did sample roasts up of them individually. So he did um, created them as components and we tasted these individually as espressos. So we had a better understanding of what they were bringing to the blend. Once we had that understanding, uh, we did a bit of post blending. So we tried different ratios. Did we want more Brazil and less Mexican? Or more Guatemalan and, and more Mexican and less Brazil? Lots of different numbers, um, lots of experimentation. So once we'd settled on a couple of ratios, which we thought were tasting delicious, uh, we did roasts of those. Um, we experimented a lot with the roasting process. Um, Willie played around with M temperature, with roast development time, with stretching and shortening the malleate reaction. And after a while, we had what we thought was a pretty good representation of what Big Dog needed to be. It was ticking those boxes, it was approachable, it sat well in milk, it was pouring consistently, and it was hitting the flavour notes of the Monty Biscuit. However, it was probably, I would say, only 80 to 90% of where we wanted it to eventually be. At that point, we released it to wholesale. Um, we got a whole lot of really positive feedback, which was fantastic, but we continued to um, pursue a greater blend and we continued to keep playing around, tweaking little parts of the roast, tweaking the percentages a little bit. And a couple of months down the track, we have a greatly improved Big Dog. It's absolutely delicious. Um, the cafes are loving it and it tastes like a Monty biscuit. And that was how the Big Dog came about. Thank you.